G'day guys, Jeremy from TACMED Australia. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought this afternoon, had a spare 10 minutes, just throw together a little bit of video, um, a bit of a video on something that um, is non-medical. I've had some feedback that uh, you guys love our tourniquet videos and hemorrhage control, but you're getting a little bit sick of it, so I thought I'd talk about something different. So today I'm just gonna talk about um, glow sticks, chem lights, silum sticks, uh, whatever you wanna call them. Um, but they're a little, little chemical stick, and you crack it, has a uh, reaction inside, and lets out light. They come in a bunch of different colors. Um, the, the main colors I use uh, are green, yellow, and red. And uh, the reason being is that we can have multiple uses when we look at, me, look at them in a medical context. So first of all is triage. Triage is a very important uh, skill to have when uh, dealing with mass casualty incidents. So we know from our, from our cards, let's hold that up. There, focus. That we have uh, our delayed, so our priority three, so they're gonna be a green label. So at night, we can label them with a green silent, and even during the day, they're quite bright, so you can see the colors. Um, next, we have our urgent, our priority two, so they're gonna be our orange labels, or sometimes yellow, depending on what kits you use, so we're gonna use a yellow silent uh, to mark those patients. Uh, thirdly is our priority one, so our red label uh, immediate patients. Obviously they're our most critical, so we're gonna label them red. And so that's one of the uses we can use the Silome sticks for, the glow sticks. Another, another way for the tactical guys, if uh, you can get a red Silome and you can place them inside your kit, so when you crack them, it just lets a glowing red light inside your, uh, your med kit, so you're able to see at night. If you're non tacky you can get maybe one of the bright blue or white Silome sticks, and you can use them for uh, creating a fair bit of light uh, at night for night operations. The third, the third uh, trick we have for, uh, for the chem lights or the silome stick is we place it on some paracord or some string or whatever you've got. And at night, if we're having to signal other people or signal an aircraft, we can crack the silome. So just crack it in half, shake it, and then we have our string and we've put it, we, uh, we spin it around on the string and uh, you can get a big radius with that. And from a distance, you can, uh, you can really see these from afar. So we call it a buzz saw. So I'll just switch off the lights and give a demo. Hopefully it works on the, on the camera. So I'm not sure how that turned out on film. In, uh, in real life, you can see these from a big distance, especially if a rescue helicopter, uh, or medivac, dust off, whatever is coming under night vision. Um, even with the infrared, they can see these very clearly from a, from a distance. So you're gonna get signals a lot, a lot easier. Uh, not all of us carry flares um, around in our standard med kits or our cars or, or whatnot, but you know, these are a lightweight, they're cheap, and, uh, and they've got multiple uses. So let us know uh, in the comments what, uh, what other ways you've used um, glow sticks or silome sticks um, in, in a medical context. Uh, would love to hear your thoughts. Hopefully you learned something and um, hopefully it's not so far uh, along between our next video. Thanks for watching.